So what we have here is a $20 gift box that I got off of Amazon. Bunsters had a flash sale, so figured why not. So free shipping, eight ounce bottles, four of them. I figured that was a steal. So we're gonna crack this bad boy open and see what's inside. All right, so after opening up the box, I'll show you what we got. We've got one barbecue sauce that they actually sent us. Posh barbecue sauce. It's a uh, truffle and cacao. We've also got the original sauce. It's just made with Aussie fruits and veggies. Next up, you've got shit the bed, which the name right there terrifies me as it is. <laughs> um, then you've also got their black label, which was featured on Hot Ones. That one may cause some anal leakage. Let's take a photo for the thumbnail. And if you're not familiar with this line, I'll leave a link down below in the description box. Go check the website out. Yeah, they're from Australia and they seem to have some good products. When I was scrolling through them, I seemed like they have a hot honey, a verde sauce, and some other stuff that I might actually go back and check out. So let's get this party started. We're going to start off with the posh barbecue sauce and work our way up to the hot one. I like the bottles, though, how they're shaped. And they're eight ounces, which you can't beat that. All right, so I got here some grilled chicken I picked up while I was out. I'm going to use that as my little taste tester. Surprise Bella hasn't came over. Uh oh. Hey, I think she smelled it. <laughs> wanna say hi to the camera? No, you want some chicken. Well that ain't gonna happen. Alright, so we're gonna crack this bad boy open. Alright. So right off the bat, you can smell truffles. Truffles is very forward of whatever you put it on. Alright, let's do it a go. Check out this pour. Very runny. Oh, let's talk about the ingredients as well. I can't forget that part. So what we have in this is, holy shit, a bunch of stuff. Molasses, brown onions, apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, uh, truffle dill, garlic, lime juice. You know what? I'll uh, upload a photo and you can just read it. How about that? Saves us both some time. All right, so let's check out the flavor with this bad boy. It's got a nice color to it, though. It's pretty dark. It was runny. It has some nice sweetness to it. Truffle doesn't overpower it though. Like you know it's there. Because you know truffle overpowers a lot of things most of the time. But in this situation, no, not at all. You get some flavor from the cacao powder. Which I could definitely dig. And I like the color on it too. It's not like your typical Kansas City or Memphis style barbecue sauce. All right, barbecue one. Next up we're gonna do is the original. All right, next up is the ingredients. It's orange juice, tomatoes, red peppers, brown onions, carrots, bird eye, chili peppers, apple cider vinegar, lime juice, goji berries, garlic, coconut sugar, cilantro, ginger, salt, made with Himalayan pink salt. Man, that took a lot of wind out of me. All right, shake it up. I don't know, Bella's like anxious of trying to get some chicken from me. She's just been like, hey dad, I know you're gonna drop something. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Yeah, so Bunsters had this flash sale twice. I missed it the first time, which they did it for, I believe they said it was Black Friday. And then the second time just happened recently, no, about a couple weeks ago. I don't know. Give it a try for 20 bucks. Ooh, I like the smell on this one. Now this one doesn't smell anything like the barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce, of course, trouble forward. Got my chicken. Let's check this pour out. It's nice and thick and it actually has a body to it. Check that shit out. Let's give it a go. Wow. Very flavorful. Has a nice little bite to it as well. Nice and thick. This definitely has your taste buds like fighting. It's got some great flavor. It's like, I don't know, it's different. Like you're getting hit with a lot of things with this one. I definitely dig it. It has tanginess, it's got flavor. 
heat, the best of all three, and the heat's very minimal, it's not very high. It's like, I wanna say on average, I wanna say like five. Great balance also, I like it. See, that would not last that long, I can tell you that. Now we're going into the serious hot ones. We've got shit the bad, where it already scares the shit out of me just from the title itself. Like, why the hell would anybody wanna fuck with that? And then you've got the black label. So shit the bed, let's see what's in it. It's orange juice, chili peppers, oh boy, scorpion and bird's eye, brown onions, apple cider vinegar, garlic, coconut sugar, cilantro, lime juice, goji berries, and potato starch, and made with Himalayan sea salt. Sounds like the same ingredients from the other one, the original. Well, we'll see. Right off the bat, well, as soon as I heard scorpion, I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> and bird's eye chili. Go. Heard that. Let's start. Alright, now we're going with some hot stuff. You can smell the scorpion and she's running. Let's see, why do they call you shit the bed? You gonna have me feeling that way later? Let's find out. Right up front, you get that stink from the scorpion. Great flavor. Reminds me of the original. Just a little bit hotter. Not really much of a difference. That heat's building though, holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. He was, I will give this eight. Flavor. Same thing as like the last one. Not really big of a difference in flavor. All right, next one is the black label. Let's read off the ingredients and see what we got. Orange juice, chili peppers. All right, scorpion and bird's eye again. Brown onions, apple cider vinegar, coconut sugar, garlic, cilantro, lime juice, ginger, salt, goji berries, potato starch, and Himalayan pink salt. All right, this one says may cause anal leakage. Yeah, I believe it. Let's give it a bell. Let's give it a go. Woo! This one just smells like straight up heat. Let's get that chicken in camera. Let's get these pores out. Nice and runny. All right, so this was a 16 out of 10 on the label right here. I don't know if you can see it, there we go. I mean, this is gonna be something brutal. Cheers, it was runny. Again, it just smelled hotter than the last one. Let's go. Now, that one has just a uh, burn. Not really much flavor to that one. Mm. It's just hot. Not really much flavor like the other two. Where I swear the other two was the same flavor, different amount, different variations in heat from the original and shit to bed. This one is just straight hot. Not really much flavor to it. I think the heat just overpowers it. I don't know, my favorite one though, we'll go with the shit to bed. It's got the great flavor. I mean, my favorite one we'll go with is the shit to bed. Flavor is on point. Heat is definitely on point. The original, same flavor, not really much of the same heat. Barbecue sauce was different. I could dig it. Put it on some wings. I'll figure something out. But this black label, I don't know. It's just, I get it, it's hot. The hottest one it was featured on hot ones was this set worth 20 bucks hell yeah i'll definitely put all this shit to use all right guys i'm hot sauce mike just give you a rundown of this gift set that i just picked up from amazon for 20 bucks funsters gift set check it out um yeah till next time later